Hi all, this is James and Rad from Yoga Plus Therapies, your most body friendly yoga teachers on YouTube. Well, that's our opinion anyway. Welcome to this class today. This class is a special class, specially targeting strength. So we're going to do a lot of moves and practices that work on building strength in your body. And it's designed for runners, all runners, but especially those runners maybe a little on the older side, perhaps women especially who are over that 50 age when they're in that postmenstrual period might find this especially suited because we're going to be doing a lot of work on building strength in the body all around, helping with muscle and bone strength and helping to keep you running in the long term by maintaining this really good strength. This is going to be a, a yoga class using dynamic moves as well as strength moves. So let's give it a go now. Let's get ready. So this first practice we're going to do a nice breathing centering practice. So bring the fingers interlocked. Bring the hands above the top of the head. And you're going to inhale, press the palms up to the sky. Breathe out, bring the hands back down. Let's repeat, nice and slow, focusing on the feeling of stretch and the breathing and bringing yourself centered for your yoga practice. Let's do that again. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Now we're gonna modify this and bring in some active work for the calves. Bring the feet about hip width apart for stability, or if you want to work your balance more, have the feet close together. Interlock the fingers, place them above the top of the head, palms facing up. Now on the inhale, you're gonna come up onto your toes, steady ankles, and press those palms to the sky. Stretch long. Exhale, lower the heels, lower the hands to the head. And repeat. Inhale up, stretch, 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 ankle steady, exhale and lower. Let's really work on that strength. Okay, lift it up one more time, up, 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 and down. Now this time we're going to hold it. So let's lift up on the toes, reach it up, keep breathing, and try to hold steady for 10, 9, 8, Seven, focus, five, four, three, two, one, relax, exhale, release. Now, take the arms out to the side, a big deep breath in, bring the hands overhead, draw the palms together, exhale and bring the hands down to the heart. This is our centering breath. We're going to make use of this frequently throughout this class. Single leg balance. Now this next one is a bit of a balance. If you're not secure of your balance, remember have a wall or chair close by for support. Let's stand on one leg and bring one knee up towards the chest. Hold behind the thigh. Draw the knee in. Now, as you exhale, straighten the leg out to the front. Tighten those muscles in your thigh. Bend the knee, inhale. Repeat. Tighten, 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 and release. Remember, if you tighten the hammies, your leg can be a bit lower. Once more, and release. This time we're gonna hold it. Breathe in, breathe out, stretch and hold. One, two, three, four, five, relax. Take a breath, inhale, arms out to the side, overhead. Down to the centre line, breathing out. Second side balance. Lift it up, hold the thigh, breathe in, breathe out, stretch forward. One, tighten your thigh. Inhale, bend, repeat. Exhale, tighten. Inhale, bend two. Exhale, tighten three. Good. This is the hold. Get your balance, hold on if you need to. So we're going to breathe in, breathe out and hold. Strong quads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, and relax. Release it down. Take a breath. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. Now we're going to do chair posture. So I'm going to get you to take your knees as wide as your hips. A little bit wider. Knees in line with the feet. Feet can be slightly turned out if you need. Depends on your hip flexibility. We're going to breathe in and as you breathe out, you're going to bring it down into a squat. Going as low as you comfortably can according to your needs. Come back up. Arms can be where you need. Breathe out, squat. You could bring the hands forward, that's it. Tails back, come back up. Now according to your body shape, you might need to have the body a bit more bent forward or more upright. So it depends on your body shape and balance. But just work on just getting some nice movement into those thighs and legs. We're going to do some strength work on this a little bit later. So let's do one more warm up, come back up, good, namaste breath, inhale up, exhale down, calm and centred. Okay, let's take hold of a chair or a wall, so Radhika's got the chair there, she's going to face it, so she can use both hands if she needs to hold on. We're going to stand on one foot and we're going to do small calf pulses. So one leg's going to lift up and she's going to pulse up and down on one foot with her calf. Reasonably quickly. Feeling the work. It's only a small move. It's not a full calf raise. These are little pulses. These are really good to strengthen that calf while you're running. Focus on this point. Breathe still, steady and full. And just feel those nice pulses. We're going to work towards 20 to 30 pulses. Okay, that's 40. Very good. Mm -hmm. Let's release and try the other side. Let's get a nice rhythm, simple pulses. These pulses are excellent training. But here we want to really focus on good core as well. So Redick has got to hold her tummies in so that everything is moving as one. And she does those small little pulses. Again, 30 to 40 maybe. Good rest out. Let's take a namaste breath. Excellent. Now this next exercise is quite demanding. It's a strong strengthener for the quads and the lower limbs. Everything's going to be working well. Those buttocks, glutes and everything. According to your strength, and body shape, that depends on how big a bend you're going to do. Remember, be respectful of your knees. Keep your knees behind the toes. And keep good alignment. Knees aligning to the foot. Do the action very slowly. So, holding onto one leg, you're going to bend the stance knee into a squat, a gentle squat, and then coming back up. Very good. Find a breath rhythm. Breathing in and breathing out. We're aiming for nine of these, but of course, depending where you start, you might only be starting with three. Strong people will be getting that back knee towards the floor and eventually, but that's going to take many months to achieve. At this stage, it's all about good alignment, good control, and stopping if you get too tired or fatigued. Once you've done your number on one side, let's try the second side. Slow, rhythmic, keeping good control. The dancer squat. Keeping the hearts open. It's important this one that you do hold on because control and steadiness is far more important than wobbling all over the place. We've got balances later on, so this is all about Good control. Breathing in and out. Last one. Excellent. Once you've finished, let's take a centering breath. Breathing in. Breathing out to heart. 
Well done, you've really worked well for that one. Great. Now this next section is quite hard and challenging. It's gonna work a lot of strength and balance. The chair Redica has there, you might wanna have a chair as well. These chairs can be really helpful if you need, especially if you need to have a little rest or support. First practice we're gonna start is the pyramid position. One foot forward, one foot back. The back foot slightly turned out about 30 degrees. Pelvis is faced directly forward. Two arm patterns here. Arm one to the side. Strong through the back, hearts are open. Breathe in, breathe out, bend forward from the hips, halfway, keeping that heart open, looking slightly forward. Come back up. Stage two is stronger, arms reach overhead, reach out through the fingers, inhale, exhale, bend halfway forward, looking slightly forward. That's it, come back up. We do that twice more. Nice and slow, really slow and controlled. Feel that nice stretch, weight even between front and back foot. This time we're gonna hold lightly, look forward, hold, breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Come back up, inhale, lower the arms. Take the other foot a little further back, so the back foot slightly back and come up onto the toes, heels to the sky. Get steady. We're gonna come into a high lunge practice. Hands will be wherever you need. Bend the front knee, bring the back knee towards the floor, come back up. Keep that front knee well controlled, in line with the ankle. And two, this is the hold, three. Hold, one, two, three, four, five. Come back up. Bring the back foot in a little closer, a bit further closer, so all the weight's on the front leg. Bring the hands to the back pelvises, palms on and elbows facing backward. Square the pelvises forward and keep the heart open. Bring the weight onto the front leg, and left the back foot off the floor. Keep the body in a straight line from crown to heel. We come up and down three times, not putting the back foot down fully. So Radic is gonna go through this again without quite touching. So this is one. That's where you need your chair support. We come up, two. One more. And this time we're gonna hold, coming into the warrior three and holding. Level those pelvises, reach crown to heel, find the breath. One, two, three, four, five. Step back in, bring feet together and let's take a centering breath. Inhale. Exhale, shake out, loosen any tensions. And we've got all the other side to work on. So other leg is forward. Pyramid position, back foot slightly turned out. Weight is even front to the back. Pelvis is face forward. Arms to the side in aeroplane. Inhale, hearts open. Exhale, halfway forward fold from the hips. Come back up. Reach to the sky for level two. Inhale, exhale forward, slight look forward. Come back up, inhale, nice and slow. Exhale, two, one more. If this is too strong, go back to aeroplane. Number three, we're gonna hold and reach and lengthen. Breathe, one, two, three, four, Five, inhale up, release the arms. Step the back leg further back, lifting the heel on the toes, balancing strong. Have your chair support if you need. Prepare yourself, focus. Inhale, straight knee. Exhale, bend the front knee in line with the ankle and lower back knee towards the floor. Inhale up. It's a strong long lunge. Two and up, and 
three. Hold. One. Three. Two. Three. Four. Five. Come back up. Shift the weight to the front leg. The other foot just a little bit back. Warrior three. Variation. Hands to the pelvises. Elbows back. Three times we do the forward fold, back leg lifts. One, don't quite touch. Two. And three, we hold, lengthen, strong, find the breathing. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Come into centering. Take your breath, inhale up, exhale down, calm and easy, shake out if you need, and we're ready for the next. Okay, this next one is called the side lunge. Radhika's using a block, so if you need, you can bring a block into play. The first level we're going to use forearm to thigh, the second level will be to the block or to the floor according to your strength and flexibility. We're going to go to one side first. So your hands are going to be the other way. The hands are going to face away from the leg you're moving to. You breathe in, breathe out, bend your knee, and bring your forearm down towards your thigh. This is level one. Come back up. Try level two. Breathe out, bring the hands to the block or the floor. This is level two. Okay, so let's give that a go. Three times. Breathe out, one. Keep the bodies long and open. Breathe out, two. This one's the hold. Breathe out, three. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Come back up. Get your breathing, adjust your foot. Bring the feet a little bit more level. So one leg's more straight, the other slight turnout. Bring your block in position if you need. Hands to the other way. Breathe in. Do your chest, breathe out. One to forearm. Come back up, because sides can be different. Breathe in, breathe out. Try level two. If it's too much, go back to one. Come back up. So let's try it now, three times. Breathe out, one. Breathe out, two. Feel that nice stretch in the leg you're moving away from and strength in the one you're holding. Hold it now, strong, one, two, flat feet, three, four, five. Come back up, release. Let's take our centering breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Excellent. Shake out those legs. Get a bit of recovery. One more standing to go. Okay, now we're going to do the tree posture. Before we do it, we're going to do some pulses to activate the side glute muscles. The glute means. Radhika's pointing the muscle, she's going to work. She's going to tilt her pelvis, so the side away from that muscle is going to tilt up and down. And the other foot's just going to be off the floor as she does the tilts. That's it. Hold on if you need. We're aiming for about nine small pulsing tilts. Working those outer glutes on the stance leg. Remember to breathe. Once you've finished, Come into the tree posture. The foot can be on the leg or the thigh, but not the knee. Hands can be at heart. Focus the gaze and really activate that stance leg glute. Lift the pelvis up on the other side. Think tall. Holding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, release, and let's do the other side. Pulses first to activate those outer glute muscles, really important muscles for running, keeping good strength in our hips. 
nine times. You can hold on if you need. The stance leg is the glute you're focusing on, not the leg that's moving up and down. Once you've done your nine, foot to thigh or leg, lift up through the pelvises. If you don't need to hold on, hands at heart. Focus steady, strongly, breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Release the legs. Let's take a centering breath. Excellent. A little shake out. Have a prayer to move on to coming down into our salutation. Okay, so let's come to the fronts of your mat. So you've got room to step back behind you. Stand with the feet about your hip width, comfortable. We're going to do this practice. I'm just going to demonstrate your two variations before we do the practice. And the first variation is for most normal people who have healthy backs or for anyone who doesn't have any risk of osteoporosis or osteopenia where it's not recommended to bend the spine. So this is level one. So you're going to inhale, raise the hands up. Exhale, bring the hands down, forward bend to the floor. Place the hands on the thighs, inhale, straighten the spine, extend. Exhale, come back down to the floor. So this is number one, those who have got healthy backs. Now, coming back up again, this will be level two. We'll go through level two variation for those people with osteoporosis or penia risk or back issues. In this variation, we don't want to bend the back, so we're going to bend the legs. So inhale up, bend the knees a lot, and bring the chest onto the thighs to reach hands to the floor. Then bring the hands up onto the thighs, inhale, straighten the backs. Exhale, bring the hands back towards the floor, bending the knees. Okay, so that's number two. So you choose the level appropriate for yourself. We're going to just go through it with the level one version, the normal version. And we're going to come from here to step back into plank and dog. So when you're ready, inhale, raise up. Exhale, forward fold. Hands on thighs, inhale, extend the back. Really use those back muscles to strengthen. Exhale, forward fold, one. Let's do that twice more. Inhale, extend, exhale, release. Once more, inhale, extend, strengthen the back. Exhale, forward fold, have a short pause. One, two, three, four. Now, step back, one foot, the other foot. Plank posture. If you can't do plank, bring the knees down for tabletop. So Radhika is showing the options. Okay, back to plank. Strong back. Inhale. Exhale, pull the navels in. Lift to dog. Pull yourself back into dog. Inhale, come forward. Tummies in. Strong arms. Exhale, back to dog. Two. Inhale, forward, plank three. Exhale, back to dog. Three. Inhale, forward, plank, hold, steady, tummies in, no back discomfort, hold strong, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, relax, rest the knees to the floor, exhale back to child stretch. Okay, so the next practice we're going to do is the yoga push-up. Okay, so if you're weaker, start with two blocks or two books. So from the back position, you're going to shift your weight forward. Bend the elbows lower towards the block. Keep the tummies core in. Keep the heads up. Push back up. 
shift the weight. So we're going to do nine of these. If you're more strong, you could try it with one block side on. So keep going your level according to. And those obviously who don't need any blocks could keep going for your nine without any blocks. Oh, look. So we're five. If you're really feeling good today, you could have the knees off the ground and do a traditional chaturanga push up. If you're feeling very strong. But remember, control is better than being all over the place and hurting yourself. So we want to do this with good control. Feel the work in the shoulders and those back arms. Protect your wrists, take little claws with the fingers to make sure you feel strong. And that should be about nine. So have a short pause back into your child stretch, gather your breathing. Let's come forward onto your tummies now. Preparing for cobra. Strong legs, long and grounded, pelvis grounded, hands by your sides. When you're ready, draw shoulders gently back and lift up to cobra. Keep lifted and stretch your hands back, stretching your palms to your heels. We're gonna hold this. One, two, keep breathing. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to cobra, lower down. Have a pause. Make any adjustments. Relax. Let's repeat. Inhale up, lift cobra. Extend and reach back. Strengthen those arms, that back and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Release, lower down. Rest and pause. One more time. Lift through cobra. Extend and hold. Breathing. Little pulses as you breathe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. Take a little breath, pause, relax any tensions, feel comfortable. We're going to come up in a moment for a lunge stretch. So lift up to tabletop. Do a little counter cat if you need. Come up to kneel. We're going to stretch one foot forward, a little apart so you're stable. We're going to come forward into stage one. If you're really tight, this is all you're going to do. Come back out. Make sure your back knee is comfortable. If you need to add extra padding, do so. Come forward for lunge and we're going to hold and add number two if appropriate. So we're going to bring the back knee bent, take hold of the ankle and come into the stretch, into the quad. Hold it there as you breathe. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Come back, back to kneel. Second side. So first stage is lunge. Come back. Repeat or add the thigh. Feeling that nice stretch to the quad. Holding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And release. Press the leg, fall back to child stretch for a moment. Good. 
Come up slowly, back to downward facing dog, and then back to tabletop. Now this next practice is quite strong, and leave it out if you have any problems with your wrists, shoulders, back, if it's too hard on your heart or if you have any eye pressure issues. So we're going to do little jumps and the dog practice. So come back into the dog, knees a bit bent. We're going to do little pulse jumps, lifting up. So one, two, three, four, five. Any time you need to rest, do so. Six, seven, eight, nine, good. Okay, rest back in child stretch, or a warrior, and get your breath. Gets the heart going, that one. Very good. Now this next one is going to really work. If your arms are getting tired, leave it out as well. Otherwise, if you feel okay, let's come back into tabletop. Exhale back to downward facing dog. We're going to do tri dog to knee chest plank. So one leg, inhale up, strong. Exhale, come forward to plank and bring knee to chest. Ex inhale back. Repeat. Come forward two and back. And one more. And back. Lower the leg, rest back through tabletop and child if you need. Or warrior sit. Get your breathing, get comfortable. Remember control is more important than pushing through fatigue. When you're ready, let's do the second side. Down dog, tri dog posture, second leg. Inhale up, strong. Exhale, knee chest, plank. Repeat. Two, exhale, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, lower it down, back down to your child. Well done. Okay, now we're ready for a relaxing stretch for the hips, the pigeon stretch. So let's come through to tabletop. Bring one knee forward with the front wrist. So the same side wrist. Turn that leg inward. Press the outside edge of the foot to the floor and walk the other knee back until you feel the stretch into the glute of that knee that's forward. Be active. So you're trying to press your leg into the floor slightly so that you're feeling that your glutes are a little active on that stance, on that weight bearing side and you're not just collapsing in a heap. Stay here if you feel okay, come down onto the forearms or the head supported on two knuckles into sleeping pigeon. A nice easy stretch into that glute. Find your breathing, rest and relax the stretch. One more breath. Good. Press up position, come back to tabletop. Those who like could even transition to dog. So opposite knee forward, aligning to wrist. Turn the leg in, press the outside edge of foot down. Walk this other leg back, knee back. Pelvis is forward, inhale. Exhale, rest down if you want. Elbows or two knuckles. Letting go into that nice releasing hip stretch. Always focus on keeping nice length through the spine. Always remind yourself that nothing should be painful, always comfortable. Last breath. Good. 
Press up position, tabletop or plank. And back to dog. Rest in child stretch if you need. Otherwise, we're going to come into an arm balance. So, aligning hand to knee, reach the other foot back, turn the body side on and lift up. This is level one. Level two, pressing through the arm and reaching the knee that's on the floor, reaching that foot forward on the outside edge of the foot. Lifting that pelvis up, feeling the weight engaging and feeling the work through the outside of the ankle. We're holding one, two, three, four, five. Good. Slowly release. Come back to tabletop or dog. Second side. Why just turn around? So other side, Radek has just turned to just demonstrate. So level one, knees down. Keep the shoulder nice in its sockets. There's no strain on your shoulders. Check your wrists are comfortable, elbows not locked. Strong through the leg, lift the other foot forward. The leg that's reaching forward, press the outside edge into the floor and lift your waist up. Breathe, hold, one, two, three, four, five, release, and last time, rest back into child, or warrior, sit. Excellent, you've worked really well. Now we're going to come up to kneeling for a side stretch. Okay, so we're going to come up to kneel. Long edge facing your mat, so we're going to do a side bend stretch. We're going to take one leg out to the side, resting on the heel with the toes up. If this is too much, you could have the knee bent in square position. So choose what's right for you. So leg is out, pelvis directly side on, support your hand on the leg and raise the other arm up and reach it over into a nice easy side bend. Find the breath and hold the stretch gently. Waist opening can be nice for the lungs and just releasing any back discomforts. Very good. Ease it up. Swap sides. Take position with the knee bent or leg out straight, heel down, toes up. Get your balance directly side on from the waist, leaning over and stretching out. If it's too much to lift the arm, remember, you could always keep the arm down. It's always about finding that right stretch for you on the day. Remember to breathe, relax and soften into that stretch. Very good. Ease it up. Come back into warrior sit. If your knees don't like this, remember you could use a block underneath your sit bones or a cushion. Sitting here just briefly, gather your breath, focus. We're almost towards the end of the program. Just a few to go. When you're ready, let's come out to long sit. Knees bent up. Preparing for boat. Tummies in. Lean slightly back with straight back. Lift the feet up. Reach the hands forward. Focus, breathe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Release the legs, take the legs straight, wide apart, wide, wide, wide. Prop up under a cushion if you need, or a block. 
hold upright with the hands behind if you're really tight or bring the hands forward. Inhale, rest onto the forearms or the blocks and come into a gentle forward fold. If it's not appropriate to bend your back, so remember, keep length through the spine and don't come forward so much. Rest. Very good. Ease up slowly. Legs together. Come to position yourself to lay down on your backs. Let's prepare for bridging. Shoulders back. Inhale, lift the bottoms up. Exhale, down. One. Repeat. Two. Last one, hold, lift, draw shoulders, lift parts, feel the glutes work. One, two, three, four, five. Rest. Good. Knees to chest. Keep the right knee in, left leg long. Holding that right leg, we're going to twist it over to the left into a single leg twist. Come into a comfortable side twist. The other hand could be behind you. Relax. Ease back onto the back. Same leg. Stretch it to the sky. Hold behind the thigh or calf. Wherever you can, just be comfortable. And rest. Second side, both knees to chest. Left knee in, right long. And let's twist the left over to the right. Adjust your pelvis as you need. Relax. Slowly ease out and stretch that leg up. Radhika is holding the foot, but you might be holding the calf or the thigh. Good. And release. Prepare for relaxation. Be comfortable. Feet apart. Arms to the sides. Heads resting. Cover yourself if it's a cool day. Find the breath. Let go of all tension. Soft toes, calves and thighs. Soft hands, arms and shoulders. Soft spine, soft abdomen, chest, neck, soft all around the face, the eyes, the forehead, soft scalp, just relax, let go, you've worked really well now, just let go, rest, think of that excellent strength you produced into your body. How that strength is going to really help you run and keep you running well for the rest of your life. Strength is one of those things that's shown to really help your run and possibly it's one of those things that can prevent injuries by having enough strength. 
bring to mind yourself in your mind's eye, that spot between your eyebrows, and see yourself running. Feel how that strength has enhanced your run. You can run longer, further, with less effort. See yourself running. See yourself running sustainable for the life you choose to run. You can rest here as long as you want. We're going to conclude the class now. If you're finishing up, take that breath, those light stretches. I'm going to finish off in our traditional yoga way. Thanks everyone for sharing this special yoga strength training for runners. And until next time, from Yoga Plus Therapies, James and Rant, Namaste.